Here's problem 25. It says given triangle LMN and triangle PQR are isosceles, so they're isosceles triangles. This side, this side, they match, and those sides match. So we know this angle, this angle have to match up, and this angle, and this angle, because across from them, if it's an isosceles, those angles must be the same. What measurement for P could be used to prove that the two triangles are congruent, that they're exactly the same? Well, if they're exactly the same, the most obvious thing is we know this 2x minus 26 equals this x plus 16. So I know right away that 2x minus 26 is going to have to come out to equal this x plus 16. When I solve this, subtract x from both sides. x minus 26 is equal to 16. Add your 26. You get x's value when you add 26 here and here, which makes it go away. You get 42. Now x is 42, the angle is not 42, so you got to be careful there. So if x is 42, let's plug 42 in, because this angle right here is x's value, which is 42, plus 16 more. 42 and 16 is 58. Okay? So we know this corner is going to be 58, and over here if we plug it in, we're going to get 58 also. Now remember, this angle and this angle are exactly the same. So how much is still left? If that's 58, we know the whole thing adds up to 180. So if you do 180, take away 58, I get 122 in my head. 122 has to be split equally between these two. That means you have 61 and 61. And over here, you're going to have the same thing, 61 and 61, because that corner's got to be 58. So angle P is going to have to be choice C, 61 degrees. There you have problem 25.